Greetings, Maddie. How you doing, brother? Doing all right, man. Getting ready for a two-day-long procedure starting tomorrow. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about that and then about a couple of other things. But yeah, this surgery starts tomorrow with an embolization of a, of a tumor in my face. And what that is is basically an angiogram, sending a little wire up through blood fluids in my groin up to my face, cutting off the blood supply of the tumor and uh, making it a lot less likely to, to bleed profusely once they do the actual procedure on Friday. I will stay overnight in the hospital. I will be admitted tomorrow and stay overnight. Then on Friday, I go into the four-hour procedure where they will go in and endoscopically debulk the tumor, hopefully freeing up my breathing passages enough to breathe through my nose constantly, allowing me to sleep a whole heck of a lot uh, easier. And um, then also uh, maybe even allowing me to taste and smell uh, somewhat. Hopefully, it'll also take away a lot of the tingling and numbness that I have in my face because the tumor pressing against the nerves there. So that's the, the big hope there. I'll be in the hospital another day at least, so uh, most likely I will not be discharged um, until at the very earliest Saturday, if not longer. They have to just kind of keep an eye on it because that area tends to bleed a lot. And I, I've also had radiation in the area, which makes things you know, even more uh, kind of unsettled and stuff like that. So we'll be waiting at that point um, uh, to see what happens, and then they'll, they'll discharge me. So pretty exciting. And then I'll be off of my treatments to recover for two weeks, which is exciting that I've had chemo for two weeks. I'm really, really excited about that. But as you know, then we've got uh, – um, plenty of time to, to get some more manpower in here to help us do some fundraising and um, get some people together to, to really uh, um, form some groups and make some progress on this. We've got a brand new gauge that, that many of you guys have also seen up on the site to show you uh, where we are in terms of the money we have and what we need. Um, and we really need, as I, I've specified before to a lot of you, um, we really need the manpower. We need less less ideas because we've got a bunch of those already, and we need more people to just execute them. So, uh, if you've got an idea, that's great. And, uh, you know, check in with us. Make sure you know nobody else is doing the exact same thing, or maybe you can join up with them to, to join efforts, and then go to town and just. Make those ideas happen. That's what we're really, really hoping for you guys to do. That's what we really, really need because we are just strapped with the amount of stuff that, that we're trying to do, just the, the four of us alone, which is, is just a, a monumental task. So we really need your help. We need your energy, and we need yeah. your time. It's important yeah. that you know it, we get people suggesting stuff that's brilliant and if they say okay well i haven't done this before i don't know what to do well we actually don't know what to do either we're in the same boat and so we just need you to do it take take the risks put yourself out there and that's that's going to be the biggest contribution you can make to matt at the moment is your time uh in application so leadership and and organization is what we need around a bunch of events. And just to kind of wrap things up, the temperature gauge that, that Matt was mentioning shows that we need 12 months worth of funds. Um, and we've, we've earned some money uh, so far and we reset the gauge and figured out how much we need and that's now on there and we're counting that down and we've got some more money in and we just did a recent post. So you can keep monitoring it there down to the last 30 seconds, Matt. Any last words, mate? No, but just keep your, your thoughts, your good vibes and prayers and whatever you like to do. You want to come towards me over the next couple of days. I'm a bit nervous. And thank you so much still for all the support. Thanks for watching these and keeping up with me. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys after the surgery when we make our next video. Sayonara, everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much, guys. Peace.